Hello everybody, it's TT Lemon and today I have this elevator to show you. I believe it's the smallest up and down elevator in Minecraft at the moment. And it's only four deep and six across. The pink circuit's what bring what brings you down and the blue circuit on either side sends you up. So I'll show you in action. I do have my sound turned off so I don't deafen you, but as you can see I go up a one block every tick so that's 10 blocks a second we're going up and that's pretty fast and I'll have to push out at the end and it also you can also go down on it press the button down is pretty slow it takes two ticks to go down every block so that's 20 meters a second but if you do do it any faster then you um take full damage if you're in survival and like this I could be in survival and won't take any damage whatsoever Right now I've come around the back here to show you how it works. So when you input, the inputs go into this side, this blue tower here and this 2x2 two two blue tower here. And they're staggered at a one tick delay different so that they go up differently. And the way it works is the power's going to come up into that redstone which is connected to that block. And because of the way redstone works at the moment, it, this piston will push out and this will not extend but when it pushes all the way out into the elevator it will extend because it's powered through that block with this redstone and then when it depowers it doesn't just leave the piston behind because there's a two tick delay on the, the piston from this torch and this torch here which then pull that back so you don't need extra circuits to do that or anything. So when you go up, you see, it does that. And these stay out at the end, unlike they would a normal elevator, because of this pink circuit here, which allows you to come down. You can see it coming down now. And that's just done by putting a delay on the pistons pulling back on here because if you look it's two ticks into there and round and round and round and round and round and that just six eggs down. You can change them if you've got like some feather falling boots and make it only one tick. But really that's just for showing off and it's much better just to have a water drop or something at the side. So now I'm gonna go into a tutorial and show you how to build this. Alright to start off with you need to build the platform you're going to launch your elevator from. You need a pressure plate like this, then diagonally from that a piston on a 2x2 two two area and then just some blocks behind it. And you want to build a pillar out of each side like this. And this is so this is where the pistons come out to like that and they're powered through this block from behind. So I'm going to build my one, two, three, four, five, six high. Yep. Six high elevator, and then right, I need pistons to actually push me up now. So build out two blocks like that, sticky piston, and then stagger them like this. Like so. I need to make sure the first one is not in front of this piston here, otherwise, it'll all just break. And then normal pistons on them and then just fill in the gaps. You don't need obsidian or unpushable blocks because it works differently to that. Right and now I'm going to show you how to build the opening mechanism and how it works. Right you need to take a redstone signal from this pressure plate here which I do with this redstone you want to take four ticks of delay to that piston like this and just do that to power that piston so when I walk in I get pushed into it. Right next you want to do this and invert that signal and then add four ticks of delay to it and then invert it again which sends it up into the system and to get the signal to the other side you're going to want to 
put one particular delay onto it, redstone, blocks like that, and a torch. In fact, they do those, the green circuit, which just controls opening, like that. Right, next, I'm going to want the blue circuit, which is the pistons. So, if I do this side first, that needs to go into a block to push this piston out. And then some redstone there to extend this piston by powering it here. And then you just want to continue that pattern up like this. For each piston, you're going to want to do that. If you see, when you power that, power any of them. Oops. No, I see what happened there. It has to be in the chain so it extends properly. But when you actually use it, that won't happen. Right, so, and that's just because I powered up this block, so this redstone was updated first, rather than powering this block first, so this piston went out first. It makes sense in the end. Now I'll just put that piston back. Right now, you're going to want to get the signal here to here, which I do with a little torch tower like this. So block on there, redstone signal, a torch, bong top that torch, another torch, and just do that all the way up. And what this does is it adds two ticks of delay onto this um, repeater so it actually retracts the blocks. Instead of being just leaving block behind, get two ticks of delay there and put them back. So this happens. Uh, I forgot to do it on this one. You need to remember this one, it's quite important so your last piston actually retracts. Right. Here, there you go. There's two ticks of delay in between each of them. This side have two ticks of delay in between, so then you stagger them by one tick and then it goes up nice and smoothly at 10 blocks a second. Now, the same on the other side but up one block. So, do this. Redstone next to each piston, block on the back piston, and then the same little torch towers by taking signal from there. There's a lot of blocks, but it's worth having a nice elevator in your world. And then torches on the side, like that, and just step on your pressure plate just to bring everything back in. So, you may think that's how it works now, but if you see, it doesn't, it pushes you straight back up again because you need some glass just above here. And this is so the pistons don't push you away. Nice. So you now need to have a thing at the top which pushes you off if you want. So when you get to the top, you don't have to think about stepping off, it does it for you and you just do that by putting another block on the top of that torch piston block so as you're going up I'll just push you out onto your platform whatever you have like this so if you now look right now this by itself is a pretty awesome elevator but it's not as compact as what I have over there, which is the smallest elevator in Minecraft, I think, or the smallest with this piston layout that I made, but I'll be doing a separate video on that. And now we need to build the circuit for going down. So I'm going to do that in pink. I'm going to want to place blocks on the back of each of those pistons, and then this is where I'm going to first get my input. I have it like that, and two ticks delay, so that adds two ticks delay in between that piston, that piston retracting. Then I'm going to add another redstone, like that, and like that. So this sort of the signal snakes down, like like that, and then last of all. No two ticks like that. 
now I'm just going to take an input from that from here maybe and if I do something like this there we go perfect so now if I call it does that actually if I also how did I do this before yes if I take out this block here place a piston there like that so when we press the button that comes up nicely for us like so which pretty nice and if you want to also you can add it so that has two ticks to lay on it which should make everything more smooth like this go up, you see that downward thing does activate on your way up because that's the one downside this elevator you see it goes up very fast and retracts quite fast but then these are left sitting here waiting for you to come back down again as well so you don't want to get on it by accident and set these off that can be remedied if you just don't have the pink circuit you can see coming down two ticks per block so it's only at five coming you only come down at five blocks a second compared down to ten seconds ten blocks a second up but you can have a wardrobe or use this design when I show you it in the next video yeah and that highlights importance if you need to get in the center when you walk on this walk in so this piston will push you up and then this piston will scoop you up and send you flying up like this there you go and you can have this as tall as you want you can have it from bedrock to sky limit this is, these ones here I have a hundred blocks tall and they work flawlessly and then you have to consider is the slow reset time it has which is just there to let you come back down again like this so Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll be showing you this elevator in the next video. The design for that is four by four, four, I mean four by three, all the way up, which is incredibly compact for something of this layout, I think. So, thank you for watching, and this has been TT Lemon.